All right, today we are going to be talking about an Epson. It is a home cinema 2100 projector. And we're just going to talk about a little bit of the features, kind of the price, and is it a good starter projector to get going with. Um, this is it mounted, and I do have it towards that screen right there. And I'll give you a little more information about the screen later. Uh, but this is an Epson 2100. It's a 1080p. It's not a 4K. It's a 1080p. It projects up to 120 inches or larger. It comes with a remote and a power cable. And you'll have to buy some stuff separate just to get everything hooked up. But we've hooked this up to the Xbox. We've hooked it up to... Um, the, uh, just the regular internet, the Wi-Fi and everything, and it, it's pretty awesome. So I just wanted to give a quick review and kind of what you're looking at. So as of today, this projector is still about $650. There's two new ones that have come out. There's an Epson 2150 and an Epson like 2250. Um, both of them look very similar to this. One offers 4K. Um, and if you can afford the 4K one, then go for it. But I'm trying to make this video more for the people that are just trying to start out and try to get a projector, a good projector. Um, it's not the newest model, but usually a 60 inch TV costs that. And I'll show you, my screen is 150 inches. And I'll put a video on here in a minute and we can kind of see um, how this projector does but it does have a PC port, um, it has a PC port, it's got your audio cable, it's got, I believe it has, it has two HDMI's, it's got a USB port, um, your power of course, and your auxiliary for your sound. Now, if you want to add like the theater sound, kind of like, I have a speaker up there, I have a speaker over here, over here and then I also have one that's built into the wall right there and I have another one over here that is also built into the wall and they are all hooked up to that um, receiver right there now that it's it's really not as hard as it is really it's just getting the speakers and putting the wires but that's that's another thing you can play it um, from this projector you can play the sound but I would recommend um, buying some speakers and playing around with it because it sounds a lot better with the speakers. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to turn it on and just kind of show you what some of the features do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and power this on. I'm going to also dim the lights. This will also give you a chance to hear, to hear kind of how loud this projector is. And you don't have to dim the lights, you can still uh, see it, um, even when it's not dim. Or with the, with, you can still see it with the lights on. We'll give it a minute to kind of clear up. Like I said, it really does, it has a very good picture. Um, and like I said, I have the... Uh, I have my receiver and my speakers hooked up to it to make the, the noise, uh, but I'm going to kind of push a couple buttons just so you can kind of see like what it does, uh, but the projector, if you can hear it, it's really not that loud compared to some that I have seen. Um, so you can move this one button here at the front. Okay, so that, that shuts the lens right there. This next button is, it'll make it blurry, or this is where you decide to tune it in and get it exactly where you want it. That looks pretty good to me. Here's another one. This one, okay, so that's going to make it bigger or smaller. And like I said, you can see, I mean, you can make this screen pretty.
pretty daggum huge. So it's kind of just a matter of how much space you have. And then you have this little roll right here. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, so this is going to move you up. Or this is just to center your screen. It's going to go up or down. Let's see what this one will move your screen this way. What you use this for, I'm not really sure. It, it looks it looks cool. Maybe you're on one side of the room or something. I'm really not sure what that's used for, but it is pretty cool just to have it. Like I said, you do have sources. You have different HDMIs. You can have an Xbox on here. Uh, let me see what this does. What does this do? Okay, I don't know. Not too sure. Uh, but you can go in the menu. You can like make it brighter. You can make it darker. I didn't really mess with the settings too much. I just kind of put it up the way that it was. The only thing I really messed with was trying to make it as clear as possible. Now, I'm also going to put a website up there that kind of shows you um, how far you should put your projector back um, from the screen. And then let me see if I can play like I don't want to play anything off of like Netflix or anything. Oh, you know what? I could probably bring up my own video, I guess. My own channel, just so you guys can kind of see um, the clarity of it. zoom in a little bit so you can see but I mean it is it's really clear like I said when you're sitting back here in the back even even neater uh, but it's a very clear let me add a little bit of sound to it like I said I have a receiver hooked up to some speakers it's not hard to do but you don't need the uh, you don't have to have the speakers it's just one of those things you can add just to make your movie room with maybe a subwoofer, maybe a little more pop. You're gonna need um, a Y screwdriver. I'll leave a link in the description of these. You're gonna need a Penelope screwdriver. You're also going to need a um, regular Phillips. Okay, so I went ahead and turned it down, but I just wanted to give you an idea kind of how clear it is. And like I said, it, it's, it's a very clear um, projector. Uh, I know it says it's only 1080p, but 1080p is good. 1080p is clear. Um, but the main thing you want to worry about uh, is just your screen. Um, I got this screen and it was a hundred dollars I think and then the wood and all the other stuff I bought for it ended up being uh, like 150 bucks. So like I said, just trying to give you an idea so you can see how clear it is. It's, it's very clear. Um, $650 for the projector. Like I said, we play Xbox on this. It's really cool. Um, we've enjoyed it since we had it. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description on how far away you should move your projector. Let me go ahead and pull this off so you can kind of see what I'm saying. So, the website that I looked at said I need to put it 17 feet away. My projector 17 feet away. But, like I said, this is an Epson 2100 Home Cinema, $650. Great deal. Um, you can add a receiver. This is my receiver up here that I have. Don't remember how much it costs, but you can get one for around $100. And then I added speakers to it as well. Uh, but like I said, video games are cool on here. To watch your videos that you make are cool on here. And more than anything, and like I said, it is clear. Um, it's very clear. <laughs> it's a lot clearer than what I thought it was going to be, put it that way. And just to be able to come up here, like I said, if you're having a projector, it's more of just a wow factor instead of a, uh, 
you know, clarity, the 4K, the 8K that you, you want to see in a real clear picture. But overall, this is a great, great projector. I've had it for a while now. Um, I don't know how long it is before you have to replace a bulb. I've never had to do it. It's not that loud. I mean, let me get really close to this and see if you can hear it. But I've, I've seen some projectors, they're just, they sound like little weed eaters or something. They're really loud. This is not loud at all. Really, really like this. Um, it's great for football games, Super Bowl, sports, fights. Uh, it's just really awesome. Let's go ahead and turn the light back on. I'll see if I can think of anything else that I'm leaving out. Please, uh, you know, if there's anything or any questions you have, let me know trying to think of anything else I can possibly think of like I said these are just a few of the buttons which I kind of was using earlier you got your volume up and down um, you got a menu if you go into the menu it'll give you um, quite a bit of options on like brightness and all that but like I said I really didn't touch any of that I left it at what it was and from the video I can tell it's it's great but that's really all I can think about right now to say about this. Um, other than if you are wanting to uh, make a movie room at your house and you have the space to do it and you're trying to do it on a budget, um, anything that I looked at cheaper than the uh, $600, $2,100 right here was just, I don't know, it wasn't worth it in my opinion. This was kind of the bottom model that was still had all the features that you wanted if you go lower you're gonna miss out on some stuff um, a lot of them were 720p which once again still not bad but for 1080p that's where I wanted to cut it off but it's pretty awesome so please I know I've talked and rambled but this is a really cool projector and I've been super impressed with it so please, any questions, comments, concerns, anything you have. I haven't replaced the bulb. I've had it over a year. Um, I've watched basically every day we turn it on. It hasn't gone out. hasn't given any problems. Um, might have just got a really good one, but this little guy is pretty cool, and I would highly recommend him to anybody that's wanting to start a home cinema room or if you want it for your business just to project uh, on your wall or something for a computer it's it works well with that too thanks everybody for watching i appreciate it